the career trail your success journey begins here hello there welcome to another edition of the career trail right here on joy news and joy learning tv today as usual i have here with me an amazing personality and she is a woman I'm so delighted to have this interview because gone were the days where men were taking over businesses. But if you have women who are breaking these barriers or those barriers to also own business, it's such a pleasure to have them on the career trail to hear their story and also to commend them for their good work. Now, without wasting my time, if you are ready, I was definitely born ready to do this. Let's take a look at the profile video of my guest. This week on Career Trail, who is our guest? She is popularly known for her victory in the 2011 Ghana's Most Beautiful Pageant. She is a product of Takrade Polytechnic, Gimpa, and University of Ghana. She is a TV host and the executive producer of a few long-serving television contents like Purple Showroom and Miss Golden Stew. She is the president of Group J and J and its subsidiaries. Her philanthropic spirit led to the founding of Equia Street Aid Ghana and NG to improve the life of street kids. She says coming from a humble home is not a justification to remain poor. Our guest for this week's edition of Career Trail is Salome Ikia Salimensa. Ladies and gentlemen, you have it right there. So I have here with me Madame Sally Ikia Amwakwa. I know most of you remember her from GMB. Yes, Ghana is most beautiful. But aside GMB, do you know that she owns a business? She is the founder of JNJ. Today, she's going to tell us all about her business, how business started for her, the challenges as well as motivation. So stay with us if you want to become like her or even better than her. Hello, Madam Ikea. Welcome to the show. Thank you, darling. You are looking beautiful. You know, I've seen you on social media, television, but I must say, seeing you in person or meeting you in person, you look much, much prettier than what I've seen. Thank you. I actually get that all the time mm -hmm. when I meet people personally. So I'm not surprised you're telling me. Oh, that. okay. <laughs> so how are you doing? Very well. And how is business? Well, it has been challenging, but we cannot complain. You know, we all know the current economic situation of this country. And it's actually every economic. So you can't really um, blame it much on the current government. And then you know that most of us, I am kind of into importation with Hugo Wines. And mm. then when the city is not stable, you know, it affects you directly or indirectly. Regardless of whatever business you are in here in Ghana, when the dollar rises, it affects your business. So that is the challenges we are going through right now. But aside from that, I would say God has been good to us. All right, God has been good. So aside we knowing it to be a cure, in fact, most of you even, uh, most of us don't even know the Sally. I got to know the Sally just yesterday. So we all know you as a queer. Who is a queer? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, my full name actually is Salome Equia Amwakua Mensa. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, so when I went to the Polytechnic, that is where I got the Sally from. Oh, okay. So they decided to call me Sally over my Salome. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually adopted the Sally name from the Polytechnic. Oh, okay. Um, I come from a family of 10 with my parents inclusive, um, five boys and then three girls. I started my junior education, my junior high school education at um, Kings and Queens. I actually started at um, St. Joseph. Then when it was time for me to write my BCE, I left St. Joseph to Kings and Queens at oh, a team okay. And then from there to, if you could be say one Pim girls secondary school. And then from there, to Takrade Polytechnic, I did marketing. And then from Takrade Polytechnic, I went to Gimpa after I had given birth to my first child. And from Gimpa, I went to University of Ghana Business School to do my uh, master's in HR. And then from there, as I talk to you kindly, I am reading um, law. I'm sitting with a guru. <laughs> <laughs> How many universities? <laughs> almost four or five oh, exactly four you see um i am not somebody that always want to remain at um, a particular place mm -hmm. you know i love um, adventures i love to try new things so um i never wanted to attend the same school all my life like you know they say variety is the spice of life you know? okay so i needed that feel like it 
different environment, different school, how things are done. You know, you get experience from all these things and then you put it together as you go on in life. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let me take you back to senior high school. And um, what course did you study? So I did um, general arts. It's amazing that I am into business now mm. because like, you, you know, those students that hate mathematics, you know, because I hate mathematics, you my mathematics it? teacher was my worst enemy in school. You know that kind of a thing. <laughs> you know, when you are in school and you are not too comfortable with a particular cause, cause automatically, you don't that, like teacher. that teacher becomes your enemy. But was the problem from you or the teacher? I will not blame it on the teacher because if there were other students in class who were doing mm. it better, it means I was not putting in much effort. You know, sometimes it's, it's, it's our mindset. You know, sometimes we tell ourselves, oh, I'm not good at this particular subject. So because of that, we do not pay attention to it. We don't, do not direct our attention to it. We don't learn the subject at all because we, to us, we are not good in it. So we don't even make an effort to learn it. And I keep telling my kids now that, listen, there is nothing like I cannot do it. You are not doing well in it because you are not putting in much, much effort. effort. Because you have accepted the fact that you cannot do it. That is, not, that is why you are not doing well. it and doing it well. But the moment you tell yourself you can do it, you will be able to do it. So I'll not blame it on the teacher. I'll blame it on myself. Yeah. So, yeah. so you, because of maths, because of, you didn't like the subject, yes. you decided to do general arts. General arts. But growing up, who did you aspire to become or what did you aspire to I, become? I, I always wanted to be a TV personality, a, a, a newscaster, let me say. Um, I quite remember growing up. You know, I didn't really get, you know, there are people that got the opportunity to see people making it in life and then... Um, they were looking up to such people. I didn't have anybody like that to mm -hmm. look up to in the family. But for some reason, I behaved differently, you know, among my peers, even among the community that I was in. I behaved differently. I kept telling myself, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And let, let, let me, let me um, just bring this up. Okay. Um, when I believe in whatever we say with our mouth, because whatever I confessed to myself growing up, they all materialized. So when you are growing up, whatever you want to do in future, keep professing it, keep confessing it into your life, keep telling yourself that this is what you're gonna do and it will definitely come to pass with a little bit of effort, determination and perseverance. Yeah. Okay. All right. So growing up, you wanted to be a newscaster. Okay. So when you went to senior high school, was your school a first choice? No. It was. Um, uh, what school I was your first choice? If that could be then, if that could be was Achimaman. They had then changed the name from Achimaman to if that could be Sewan Pim Girls Secondary okay. School. I did not get my first choice. So, Which school was that? Um, Amas, T I Amas. Oh, okay. I actually never wanted to go to a girls' school. I don't really have any particular reason, mm. but I just didn't want to go to, go to a there. girls' school. So um, when I didn't get my first choice, I didn't even, I didn't even check on my second or third choice. So somebody came to see my my father, and the person was telling my father about it. if I could be. He just came. They are like it's good mm. now, so my parents should take me there. And then it will interest you to know that I actually went to the school myself. Amazing. Yeah. I went there myself. I did my admission myself. My father only went with me when it was time for me to go to school. Yep. So that's what happened. Then that's how I you found ended myself up. in um, if I could be say one time girl secondary school. But how was the experience like? Uh, Can you remember any of the your first day at school? <laughs> 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 well, I'm glad mm -hmm. um Measures are in place now um, to prevent students from first years from being bullied because mm -hmm. um, I was a victim of bullying in school and indeed um, it took only the grace of God for me to complete school. In um, my first year, I nearly stopped school because of one senior called Ophelia. This is somebody I will never forget, so I will mention her name here. Um, she was um, compound perfect was behaving like the whole school belongs to, to her. her you know it was amazing how she had assumed so much powers 
um, to herself and she was doing things however she wished, you know. This lady slapped me like three times without any provocation. And up to date, I sit down and I ask myself, what at all did I you do did to do this to lady to warrant that kind of hatred from her? I nearly stopped going to school because of this lady. But, um, but did you report the issue? I did. I did. You know, then she was a perfect, you know, a new school, perfect. You could just do any then you could just do anything and get away with it all. It's not now that your family can actually go to the school, school and report to the student or confront the teachers or the headmaster or mistress about uh, the happenings in the school, you know. Mostly I know a lot of people like me also went through the same orde ordeal, but they are not able to bring it up because of the situation that mm. we were in at that time. Oh, okay. Yeah. But fast forward um, yeah, it was my first year. Um, I did Miss Amstel Malta. Hey. Yes, <laughs> and then I was the second runner-up. I did Miss H A S H S, and I was the third runner-up. So pageantry started, it started from, from senior high exactly. school. <laughs> I, I, and it's not because I thought I was like overly beautiful, but I felt I had something in me Indeed. that I wanted the world to see. And then to be able to do that, I needed to start from somewhere. somewhere. And the encouragement actually came from a friend because I was quite timid growing up. You know, when you come from a humble beginnings, um, mostly your self-esteem is quite low. So you need um, another person sitting somewhere to say you can do it. Do it. So that is all I got from a friend. Uh, her name is um, Nanama. Mm. Nanama was the one that encouraged me to take part in Miss Amstel Malta. Um, when she told me, I actually objected because I'm like, mm, I don't think I'm you up to that it. task because I don't see that beauty, <laughs> you know. But she was like, oh no, go and do it, go and do it. You can do it, go and do it. And I'm like, okay, let me just give it a shot. After all, if I don't win, then what? What? So what <laughs> you do you know? lose? <laughs> just give it a try. And I did. And in, indeed, um, I was the second runner-up. Actually, people actually thought I should have carried the crown at the mm -hmm. end of the day. But Charlie, that's how it went. Mm. It, was, it, was, it was actually a beautiful experience. All right. So after SHS, I got only, C I think I got four Bs and then Cs. I wanted to go to the university. That was when they introduced their B1, B2, B3, <laughs> C4, C5. So you now, you know you've gotten B and C, so you get some good grade. But by the time you add their small, small numbers. Yeah, they are <laughs> going up. <laughs> so I applied. I, went, I had always wanted to come to Lagon. Mm -hmm. So I applied. I used a, f a, a friend's address. I don't really know whether or not I got admission into Lagon. But I waited and waited. I didn't get my results. Oh, okay. and I didn't want to stay home. So um, a friend of mine um, introduced me to somebody at Aquatic Polytechnic. And then the admission was even over then. So I went to see the person. The person took me to the, the then principal. His name was Apori. Oh, okay. And because I had good grace, instead, it, 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 they had already started school. But he had, Overlooked I got it. admission. Okay. And then I went to do marketing. Can you imagine? <laughs> From <laughs> journalism <laughs> to marketing. To, like, what do I even know about mathematics that I'm going to do marketing, darling? But why this twist in your story? The reality is I didn't go to Chakwa because that is what I wanted for myself. But I felt, I felt that was the available option for you. And you yes. had no choice. So I had to take advantage of that. You didn't want to stay at home. That is one thing I don't do. I people don't, I don't allow you. opportunities. I don't really care about people. I'm not a typical people's person. Like, I don't really care about the opinions of people. people. Okay. But me, I don't allow opportunities to slip by. Okay. I felt it was an uh, available oppo opportunity. opportunity. So let me Just take, take advantage it. of the opportunity. And I just stayed. Uh, then I had to do accounting. I had to do quantitative analysis. I, I <laughs> so it was crazy. It was difficult. It was very challenging. My um, Takwadi Poly days was quite challenging. Um, coupled with the fact that when I got to school, I wasn't too serious um, for some reasons. Um, I, I, I found myself in this company of ladies 
who are too serious with their studies. <laughs> and then, I, I, because I was part of them, I was also not paying too much attention to my studies. So I w I, 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 it was quite challenging for me. So it was up until when I got to level 300 mm -hmm. that I sat down and I'm like, no, Akia, remember where you're coming from. And you can't compare yourself to these people. And then even if they're also coming in from the same background, you're not the same, mm. you know? So you have to take your studies seriously. And that is when the turning point in my education started. Sorry. I took um, my studies quite seriously and then I graduated. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually did another pageant then. Eish. Then it was like the biggest pageant in Takrade, Miss Personality. It wasn't limited to only um, police students. We have we had students from other um, universities and um, tertiary institutions, and even um, people who were in students in the pageant. It was aired on Sky TV. Oh, okay. So it, it was a reality show. So it was actually a big deal, and I won. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank I wasn't there to say congratulations. <laughs> I'm saying it now. Thank you. Wow. So I, won me. I think so. I think that one too got into my head because I was in level 100 when I won it. Hey. Uh, yeah. So you were it, looking uh, at exactly, you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, they were calling me Shakira. Hey. Don't lie. You know, <laughs> so when I see people talking about my body, I go like, boss, go to my, to my even <laughs> SHS days, Way go back. to Takwade Poly. And, and, and sometimes I see the comments of some of my my um, colleagues, colleagues and they go like oh we know her mm. i used to have a very tiny waist like if i say tiny i mean very tiny waist and my body was that defined okay so right after takrade what next i went into ghana's most beautiful oh, right okay. from school that was so in i completed which year? in 2010 okay and then i went um, into ghana's most beautiful in 2011 mm. and then um, Another bigger platform, exactly. or the biggest. <laughs> I will call it the biggest because that is what gave me my breakthrough in life. Okay. Yeah. All right. So after GMB, what next? So after GMB, I, I, I got married. Okay. And I had my first child. While I was pregnant, I um, still wanted to go back to school. So I applied. I got Gempa. But then my tummy had come up. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't go to school. So the next year I applied again, I got admission and then I went to do um, business administration. Oh, okay. So at that time you have agreed that you wanted to go on the business exactly. journey. Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. But um, let me ask this question. After Takwadin, did you have a chance to do internship usually after um, universities, yes. national service? Can you tell us about it? Okay. So um, even when I, w I was in Takwadin Poly, mm -hmm. after winning um, um, Miss Personality. Okay. I had an opportunity to work with Sky okay. Multimedia. And then there is this experience I would like to share sure. um, with the youngsters since they are your target audience. You know, when you find yourself in an environment and you feel intimidated by somebody, um, do not quit. Don't quit because of the intimidation you are getting from that person. You know, most people um intimidate people they fear the moment they see potential in you, in you they start intimidating you so if you quit then you give that person power over you and then um, you lose what you were meant um, to achieve at that particular place i'm saying this because when i went to takwade um, there was this lady on tv i think um when I went to sorry, um, Sky, Sky, that was the first time I saw these movie reviews on TV. Oh, okay. You know, she was the host of that show. So the director of the station introduced me to her that um, she should take me into like the understudy here mm. and then sit in for her whenever she she's not absent. available. Okay. The treatment I got from this lady, like she didn't even want to see me. My face, like. I'm like, hey, now this is the way she am baby, Anna. So at a point in time, I felt like, me now I'm in level 100, what is it? Let me just quit. Mm -hmm. But then, the previous queen was actually a newscaster on 
Sky TV. Oh, okay. But I left because of somebody. Don't forget that my dream was to become a newscaster. Yes. I got an opportunity to, to at least understudy few, yeah. or learn to see if I could really attain that dream. dream. But because of an ill treatment I was getting from somebody who wasn't the owner of the company, I left. And I ended up losing that opportunity. So I want the young people watching us today to learn, take a cue from this story I just told. Never quit anything. I mean anything in life because Someone. of the intimidation or ill treatment you are getting from somebody. Okay, all right. But at least it has contributed to who you are now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I am not intimidated by anything. Anyone. I am not bothered by the opinions of people. Yeah. Like, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's talk about life after Takrad. Now we can talk about um, the next school you went to. Yeah. So when, because of my experience from Takrad mm -hmm. Polytechnic, you know, I, I always learn from experiences. I told myself my days at Gimpa is going to be all about my books. Okay. Fortunately for me, I made friends with people who were willing to study as well. Oh, okay. I have this friend that I will mention her name wherever I find myself, Monica. Monica. <laughs> so whenever it's time for us, I'm like, a man to as a Monica will come and stay with me all throughout. We will study like crazy. I nearly got a first class. Actually, all my friends got first class at Gempa. Oh, wow. But I was 0.5 away from first class. Next week on the career trail. I'm not anti so because I want to be anti so or I don't like talking to people. I am like this because I feel semi kofa semba mi no bia manin kebi I don't have any business partner. Mm. I do everything yeah. solo. We do all fashion and the Pepper Room show and then Miss Golden Stool. Are there any regrets? In life, you always need to be taught by something. Mm. If I, sh I have the opportunity to undo something in my life, it would probably be me not getting married. See, 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 mm -hmm. see, dada ko. <laughs> hey, Erade, Erade. Career Trail, your success journey begins here.